What's up, people? I'm Dez. And I'm Xavier, and we're going to be doing a OnePlus breakdown today. All right, brand new series for you. And for the first item, we're doing the OnePlus 12 camera. So the OnePlus 12 has a bunch of new camera features that we really want to break down. So I got Xavier here for me because a lot of the content you see on our social channels, he's the one that shoots them. Yeah, make sure to follow us at OnePlus USA on our Instagram. We're going to be posting a lot of shot on OnePlus content there so that you can see what this camera can really do. So, Xavier, basically, man, I have a list of updates and features on a OnePlus 12 camera, and I just kind of want to know your thoughts about it. Cool, let's do it. So first up, the new sensors for the, for the main camera and the tele lens are larger than they were on the OnePlus 11 version, right? Sure. So how does that help the final image? Yeah, so basically what your sensor does, it's a... It's a square that detects light inside of your lens. Um, and whenever you press the button to take a picture, it will close the, open the shutter and close the shutter. And that sensor will take in the light that leaked in while the shutter was open. Um, so basically what a larger sensor will do is it'll take in more light than a smaller sensor. Makes sense, right? Yeah, right. Um, so that's really helpful in low light conditions where every little bit of light matters. So when you're taking low light photos on the 12 compared to the 11, you'll see a little bit less noise. You'll see more true colors at nighttime. Okay, got you, got you. Well, continuing on, HDR, tone mapping control. Most people are like, okay, what is that? And how does it help my photos at the end of the day? Sure. So basically what HDR is, is when you take multiple photos at different exposures or brightness, it means the same thing. Um, and then you combine them, and usually with DSLRs, you combine them in Photoshop, right? Um, so that your sky isn't overexposed, so that your shadows aren't pure black, right? You can actually see detail in the shadows. So it looks like I sky. know what I'm doing, basically. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Um, but the issue there is phones all do that all through AI, right? So that's usually why when you take a photo on your phone, it kind of has that buffering for a second and then it loads into your gallery, right? right? It's not instant right. because the AI is doing all of that work. Um, so that's basically what HDR is. And our tone mapping control is basically an improvement on HDR um, because a lot of phones will have this issue where they over HDR their image mm -hmm. and you kind of get this washed out look where there's not a lot of contrast and the image just doesn't look realistic, right? right? Like you still want your skyline to be bright. You still want your shadows to be dark, right? Um, and sometimes phones will overcorrect that. Okay. Um, so what our tone mapping control does is instead of just looking at things as this is too bright, we need to bring it down. This is too dark, we need to bring it up. It looks at the image as a whole and kind of builds a scenario, right? So it knows, okay, this is too bright, but it's a skyline. So I need to bring it down, but not so much that it looks unrealistic. Right. So basically the OnePlus 12 is really helping some of the lighting and balances, but without overdoing it exactly. and making it feel like you're almost out of control of the control of the light, right? Exactly. A much simpler way to put it. Yeah, I got to see it for the people. I got to see it for the normal people out here who are just trying to get photos off and, you know, got to make sure my sister's happy when I take a picture of her. That's all that matters, yeah. right? So, And yeah. landscape is the most common situation for that, but it also works on people, right? Right. So if you're taking a photo at golden hour and, you know, there's shadow on your face, mm -hmm. but then there's also really bright, like golden light, it's going to combine those two photos so that it kind of evens you out a little bit. So right. you don't have like super heavy bag. Yeah, Golden Hour is definitely my, uh, you know, it's my time. It's my time. It's what I do. <laughs> All right, Des, what do you have for me next? All right, so going through the phone, looking at the photos, I know what Pro Mode is. I've used Pro Mode before. Yep. It's also awesome called Master Mode. Sure. What's the difference? Yeah, so like you mentioned, Master Mode is kind of an evolution of Pro Mode. Okay. Um, so basically, for you guys that don't know, Pro Mode It'll basically let you take full control of your device instead of letting the AI kind of auto control the exposure, auto focus, all of that, right? So you get full control over your exposure triangle, your f-stop, your shutter, um, your focus, your white balance, all of that. Um, Master takes that even further and it gives you full control over your saturation, your sharpness, your contrast, and a few other features. Um, so it's sounds really like every feature. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be really sounds like it's affecting everything. It's master for a reason, right? right? right, right, right. <laughs> um, so 
I really do recommend it if you're trying to take that leap from mobile photography to DSLR photography, because it's gonna feel um, a lot more like a DSLR, like you're really in full control right. of the device and everything that is going on. Um, so if you're trying to take that leap, go from mobile to DSLR photography, try out master mode. Okay. Okay. I had to go to my notes for this one. I got some extra stuff in here. We talked about like the stepping stone, basically the DSLR, right? But when you look at the device, we have DSLR megapixels kind of on this, you know, those numbers sound like actual DSLR. So why is that important on a camera phone? Sure. Um, so first I'll explain why it's important, why DSLRs have so many megapixels. Um, basically, when you're editing photos and cropping them into so many different ratios, right? Like I might take a photo for OnePlus yeah. that needs to go on Facebook, Instagram, right. Twitter, website, go in email, right? Like I might have to crop it this thin and then square, right? right? So usually you'll shoot wider than you really need right and then crop in to those different ratios right um the issue with that sometimes is if you don't have a high megapixel camera that has that high resolution you start to lose quality right as you crop in right starts so getting blurry starts so getting a little fuzzy right. you bring some noise into the image then i'm frustrated when my facebook yeah. photo doesn't look the way i needed it to <laughs> exactly it's especially an issue if you're shooting at night right so having that high megapixel count that high resolution big file sizes on a mobile camera is really important um if you're taking photos like say you, you know you, you found a client your first client you're a mobile photographer and you're shooting amazon photos like you really want those to you know, have down. high resolution yeah. so it looks as if it was shot on a dslr before you make that jump from mobile to dslr got you so one more for you the oneplus 12 has the three times celly lens but also has 120 times digital zoom mm -hmm. what's the difference between optical and digital zoom yeah so anytime you do an optical zoom it's done before the image or video is taken. Um, so that can be done through a lens change or through a zoom lens where you can just scale in and out basically. So that's done before the image, before the video, it will not degrade or change the image at all. Now a digital zoom is done after the fact. So your image or your video is already taken and you're scaling in digitally. Now, anytime you do that, you will degrade the image a little bit um, and that's why it's really important on the OnePlus 12 that we combine the two, right? Um, so primarily, you're gonna wanna stick with the optical zoom to make sure that you're not degrading the image at all. But then if you need to zoom in further, we have great digital zooming technology to help you get that extra little bit without hurting your image. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So, you know, first of all, thank you for breaking down this camera in depth, needed that. <laughs> you know, I think hopefully the people appreciate understanding just again the differences from the 11 to the 12 camera and the work that oneplus put in to try to really bring out the best possible camera they possibly could here so um i'm excited for it i like using it so far so you know yeah me too um again check out at oneplus usa on instagram um you know we can talk about it all we want but with cameras specifically seeing is believing, you gotta right? See it. Yeah, you gotta so see it. So check out at OnePlus USA on Instagram so that you can see the sample shots. Go to hashtag shot on OnePlus so you can see what other people, what the community is doing um, outside of us. Um, so you can see what this can really do. Yeah, man. Well, like we always say, don't forget, like, subscribe, ring the bell, you know what to do, okay? And then make sure to check out the unboxing video of the 12 series. We're going in depth about all this stuff, not just the camera, everything. And uh, leave a comment for the algorithm. Come on now, help us out. All right, anyway, see you guys next time. See ya.